Welcome ladies and gentlemen to another edition of Binary Life which is a channel that teaches new developers how to code and how uh, especially how the thinking process takes place so that you can see how we come about a solution. So let's read this. Today we are going to be solving a 7q kata strings ends with um, let's read rapidly complete the solution so that it returns true if the first argument passes ends with the second argument. So we have something like this. We have ABC that is the first argument the second is bc we can say that this first argument is ends with bc that's why we return true this one the second one is abc it doesn't end with d that's why we get a false so we have two approaches we can solve this i'm going to go to the node console so that you can we can understand something so let's say i have a string let's just call it cars uh, it's characters and let's just call it California if I say something like cars um there is a JavaScript function called substring that gets a substring so if I say um it's sub string what is the substring of car starting uh, what is the last three characters so I say minus three is gonna return NIA so that's the last three characters of cars now we can use this concept we can use this concept here so if we get the length of this this ending then we look for the substring we look for the 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 last characters of str and see if they end with this something like this um so i'm going to take the string i say that sub string dot sub string um i put a minus and it's gonna be the ending dot length so i'm going to check if it's equal equal to the ending i'm going to return because this expression will return a boolean so let me enlarge so that you can see something like this all right so let's submit we get a pass and let's attempt we get the fill why um i can get it back larger right so here um the ending was an empty string so this it doesn't work when uh, the ending is an empty string so we can just do a, a one if statement there to solve that scenario so if um the ending that was passed if the length is equal equal to zero then we can return true that solves this particular scenario and then we can submit our solution let's attempt and that's it guys that's a pass now um the alternative we can use here will be something like this now this is to recall this is our cars here it's california what if i want to check there's another function called ends with i want to check if california ends with nia that's true if i check if it ends with um, niar that's false so that scenario can be used here i'll just comment this so i can say return str dot i'm going to check it so this this particular function ends with returns a boolean already this one returns a substring that's why we needed um comparison so i can say um returns as ends uh, with ending and let's submit and you can see it passes all the test cases let's attempt again and that's it guys so this is a simple solution all we need to do is a perfect understanding of one of these two functions and you're good to go substring and ends with so thanks for watching and uh, subscribe so that you can get notification for further videos and see you on another video for another solving um challenge